Well, at least I can do some of this. It would be better to just play the game and do this later, but I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to click it. I'm, I still can't stream, obviously, so this is a recording. Yep. Which kind of su- Oh yeah, 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 this is the- this is the blah 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 well. Come down, Paimon, let's take a look first around- Oh yeah, yeah. You're right. But this is this- But I had to do like- I had to do like two different Archon quests before I could get- actually enjoy this fully and have all the story quests, but I- I am not even. In, I'm just fin. I just finished Liyue, so I still have to go to Inazuma. That is my next area for my Archon quest that I gotta go to. But I'm waiting to do the Archon quest until I can get my streaming back up and up and running. But I want to do this before you know it goes away because I didn't do the last one. So I'm gonna do this one and probably record this stuff right now and just like post it up and like. Here and there, you know. So, let's get this stuff done, you know. I have no idea where the fudge I be. Actually, let me make sure I am doing this correctly, too. Autumn Winds leaves Scarlog Prologue 2. Please head to Tybet. Actually, god dang it. Event guidelines. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. But it, it's telling me to go to the Tibet. Oh, the story quest. Not oh, rain. Oh, wait. Story begins in the forest without rain. Enable focused experience mode to better experience the quest by avoiding conflicts with other quests occupying locations or characters. Enable. I guess. I don't know, because, like, you along the path. Yeah, because, like I said, I want to do this. I'm not going to be able to get to that point to be able to do anything else, you know? That's... Well, those are... Those are things, actually. And that means... Try to look around real quick. I don't know if that stuff is going to be, like, all around, or if I have to, like, actually look for it. But I kind of want to do this a little bit. This, this quest... Storyline thing for the moment. Let's be out of bounds. Yeah, that's out of bounds. But it's a cartoon world, and I kind of want to do it because then I get a character out of it for free. I don't. I can't remember what character it's supposed to be, but it's supposed to be like a tune cartoon kind of world thing, like side quest, main quest kind of a thing, where it's like not really the Archon quest or anything, but it's like along the way or something like that. But it's like takes it plays deeper in the story Did those plants by the road look weird to you? just a little you know, bit yeah uh and those two cracks over there yeah they look like pieces of origami oh by the shade of a lotus leaf stream don't tell me you forgot how to jump i i didn't forget firecracker i'm just okay so they're just basically sure just talking origami frogs <laughs> That's nice. Love it. Love it. Forgotten how to sing, much less notate a score. You still remember why we call you Stream, don't you? Yeah, because I've got a great singing voice. Although these what? days, the name seems more ironic than anything. Not just a great voice, one that evokes. I am already a, compared to the rest of the game that I've played already. This is a bit weird. So cheer up and make the jump over. If you're still unsure, just use that roll of magic thread. I won't laugh, I promise. Now, don't tell me you've forgotten how to use that as well. I haven't forgotten everything, Firecracker. Your name, for instance. It's kind of hard to forget that you're named after your fiery temper. Now, do me a favor and pipe down for a second. I'll be right over. It's a bit weird. <laughs> you saw that too, right? Five months at this place is getting more confusing by the second. Anyway, uh, uh, Kim... why don't we go after those two frogs? 
Thank it's gonna get more cool weird and confusing. I'm pretty sure. Right, Debbie. I know Jasper up there is like looking off in his own distance right now. He's not really paying attention to anything at the moment. So there's at least that. But this game is definitely gonna get very weird. They fly after them. Another target tracked down by Outrider Amber. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Uh, tell me something. Where the oh, where the frogs go? I was <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Oh my goodness. Excuse me, honored travelers. Did you come from the cliff of prophecy, perchance? Maybe. Chubby paper. <laughs> chubby? Who are you calling chubby? She's got a slightly thicker layer of paper on me. That's all. <clears throat> Allow me to uh, introduce myself. Uh, my, my name, name is Ormond. And I'm an elder of the forest of Okay. Uh, I've been waiting here for the hero of prophecy to arrive. <laughs> Traveler, could you pinch Paimon just to make sure she's not still dreaming? We probably are. We don't even know how we got here. Uh, pinching, you say? Well, I can help with that. Although you'll have to get a little closer. My arms are rather short. Uh, that's all right. We just need a minute to collect ourselves. Okay, let's think things through. We know for it's sure gonna be a very narrative story, isn't it? Like I want I wanted to know what it is, so it's like I'm I'm just trying. You know, like it, it's something I had to do. Because like I can get so much cool stuff out of it that I it's just like I need I, I wanna do it. I wanna make sure I can get this part done and actually do it. And I actually kind of enjoy it. Like I don't really think I need to do Everything else in the story, just to enjoy this. But I might be, you know, a bit, how shall I say, ruined by the fact that my characters aren't probably strong enough to do this specific mission properly. But I'm, just, like I said, I'm still gonna do this regardless. I kind of have to at this point. Like, I can't just keep missing doing like the special events. It happened in the past. Uh, right. Uh, I, I believe the story circulating along the pulp of this forest goes as follows. Uh, a long, long time ago, three goddesses created this world and named it Simulanka. The goddess of creation, who presides over matter and magic, created the mountains and rivers and gave us life. Her powers also paved the way for Simulanka to exist in numerous worlds. After the goddess of creation came the goddess of prophecy, with dominion over the stars and the course of fate itself. She induced the sky to spin and the earth to move. Even to this day, her, her statue still stands tall at the highest point of constellation Metropole. The final goddess was the goddess of fate. She who reigns over all treasured tales and dearest wishes. She bestowed upon us the fierce and everlasting feelings of love and hate and showed us the meaning of death and hope. Okay. Wow, they all seem super impressive. Sounds like they really did a lot. Of course. The all new residents of Simulanka come to the forest to thank the goddess of creation for founding this world and travel to Constellation Metropole to witness the divinations of the Goddess of Prophecy's new Okay, so oracles. it's weird. After that, they make their way to the end of the world and tell the Goddess of Fate about their most cherished dreams. <sighs> yeah, at least that's how it used to be. Uh, how it used to be? Oh, yeah. That has to do with the hero you're waiting for, right? Yes, this old, old brain of mine may have forgotten many things, but I will never forget 
marked the day the evil dragon descended upon our party. Okay, so we gotta fight a dragon. I saw that, like, in the trailer for it. You know, like, there was, like, a, a toy dragon thing that looked like a knack monster, you know. That you had to fight. Like, I think that's, like, the end game boss or something. Ever since the attack, the calligraphy tavern in the forest has been closed. No one knows why, but it's a catastrophe of the highest order for us, forest dwellers. Uh, a catastrophe of the highest order? All because a tavern closed? If we were talking about Monska here, Paima might understand, but is it really all that serious? Good. Goddess of creation above. We take even the greatest blood over the closure of the tavern. Wet paper will dry out with time. Fallen trees can be restored. But the calligraphy tavern is the only source of the magic tonic that sustains all creatures Okay, that's weird. In the magic what? Magic tonic. It was gifted to the forest by the goddess of creation herself. A, a special potion that helps us maintain our vitality. Well, <laughs> our bodies will gradually crumple and become brittle until they eventually disintegrate entirely. Colors will fade and we'll start to lose our memory until we can't even remember our own names. So. Uh, but wait, Grandma Omen. Yep. Oh, I'm afraid so. Yep. Color has all but completely faded from my paper. To be honest, all I really remember is that I'm supposed to wait here for the hero of prophecy. But I. Already forgotten who gave me that order to begin with. Well, we've got to ask that. How can we help? Oh, brave pixie. May oh, brave pixie. May the reward you and your friend for your kindness. Could it be you're the hero, Simon? Maybe, probably, um, most likely. I'm not sure how we'd know that. Plus, we can't even remember how we got here, so it's not looking good. Well, uh, this is turning out to be quite the conundrum for old... Almond brain here. Yeah, it's gonna be a while before this yeah, actually get going. Like this is probably gonna be a little bit boring. Uh, for now, why don't you come with me to the hut of blessings? The Al Forest Fairy lives there. Maybe she'll know what to do. Because it's gonna be a lot of story oh, and dialogue, and oh, that's the problem I think about some games like this. Like it's a lot of like story that you gotta like pay attention to, and I could just like skip, 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 and skip and. That's easy to do, and that's like what a lot of people probably would do, but then you take away from a lot of the s paper frogs live in Rain, Rain Song Pond and their adapt jumpers. Press the interact button to pull the magic thread at the back and use movement to modify the drug's jumping direction and distance. Press the act button while on the magic thread to make the paper frog jump forward. When pulling the distance exceeds the magic thread's maximum limit, the paper will frog will automatically jump forth. <clears throat> oh wait. You go like this. You go like that. Okay, so that teaches you that. Alright, that makes sense, I guess? I thought I saw a... Uh... Oh, it's down that way. There's that. But I saw something over this way. I have no idea the context of the, 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 Okay, they're just, okay, okay, okay. Are those water, I think they are. I really think they are. They're level 42, which means that technically I should have not much problem with all this, so I should be able to do a lot of the missions here. No problem. Which is gonna be fine. Which is great, I think. Watch out for this guy, because this guy's gonna be a butthole. 
Yep, it's gonna be a little bit of a buckle. I don't think I've seen this one before. Cool it. Don't get frostbite. Now I'm actually getting damage on that mother. The creature that I just fought to. Other than give me this. Give me spirit. No, not spirit carp. Oh, I got that earlier. Uh, what was it? Give me something new. Wasn't that. Hoff Ross, Dragon's Hair. Give me something. I, I don't know what it was, but it gave me something. Throw up a uh, scoop tainted water. Oh, she's gonna give me a thing. Oh, hell yeah. Fruits. So if I fight monsters and uh, things in here, I will get uh, extra things, which is nice. Let's get off this way real quick. Which is it? Which is a bit interesting. It's interesting. It's a bit weird still, but you know, I'm not gonna complain too much. That is a bit weird. It's a bit weird. This game is weird. This game is weird. Wait, what is that? Yep. There's that. Oh, shit, shit. There we go. I did it. Ribbit. This game is de this this game mode is so strange. Uh, it's challenge starting, which I don't really want to challenge or do that starting thing right now. But looking around right now is technically what I kind of need to do. Try to figure out what is going on and how to do certain things in this world. If I want to like do it. Frog path. Oh, the green paper frog. Um. Oh, okay, so basically, I go like this. Challenge failed. Yeah, I know. Now I kind of know what to do. I kind of fucked up on that one. That, uh, but I can definitely do this. It's cha It's a thing that's gonna be like important in the long run. Oh, I did that by accident. There we go. Fascinating. Alright, see? That's all I got to do is I gotta go around and do some of this stuff. All 
I actually uh, skipped some of the things that I was supposed to do, which was actually go th hit this right here. Uh, that metal over there looks pretty strange. Uh, yeah. That's what the calligraphy tavern looks like. Now it's lost all of its color. The teleport waypoint. Let's pick up these guys as well. Oh, there's a little bit of a boat. A little bit of a boat. I might actually need these. From what it looks like, with how many they're freaking around, um, picking up these lake lilies might be the right thing to do. It seems like just it might make sense to pick these things up right now while I'm here. Cause they might they might be used to uh, rebuild the tavern, maybe? Strike a pose. Or help or something, I don't know. They could be part of the revitalize thing or whatnot. Plus Picking up these things anyways is going to be helpful for me for um, potions and other things that I might need at some point. So, yeah. Oh, to the oh, to the hut. But it's good. It's probably going to go like 25, 30 minutes and then um, probably end this for like part one. I'm, I mean, I'll probably like, continue doing things. I'll probably continue with it. And then, like, do multiple parts while I'm there and just, like, release them every other day or something like that. I don't, I don't know. Uh, this is the place. If you could just wait a moment, the fairy should be. Traveler, Paimon! <gasps> Paimon knows that voice! People from of from Samaru often tell travelers that there is no dearer stage to miss in the Zabar Theater, and neither is their greatest dancer. One might compare her presence on stage of that the pure lotus stepping on uh, in a dreamlike world, a vision of mesmerizing beauty. But Nilo puts n on no airs in her day-to-day -day life. However, indeed, she is gentle yet compassionate soul, innocent, good-hearted. As such, feel free to greet her if you meet her off stage. That would definitely make her happy. So Milo is the forest fairy? Well, you certainly look the part. <laughs> Thank you. But to be honest, I'm still getting used to it. It's the weirdest thing. I remember I was reading a book at the Grand Bazaar, and then I guess I must have fallen asleep at some point because, well, then I woke up dressed like this. And in my dream, someone spoke to me. They said, you are the fairy of the forest of blessings. Now go, save the forest with your magic. At first, I thought this whole world was just part of the dream, but no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't seem to wake up. Sounds similar to what happened with us. We also have no idea how we got here. Anyway, sorry for my reaction back there. I got a bit too excited when I saw you two. It's okay, Wouldn't doubt it. totally understand. We were looking for a way out, too. At least we know we're not alone. Oh, blessed be the goddess of fate above. You're already friends with the fairy of the forest. Grandpa Omen, thank you so much for bringing my friends here. Could you let the others know I'm coming? I'll head over right away. Uh, of course, leave it to me. Hey-ho, pistachio. <laughs> Today truly is a blessed day. Wow, Milu. Looks like you made short work of getting to know the locals. Also, I kind of remembered that I have not put... The next next one will well, definitely have the when UID. When I here yesterday, Grandpa Almond told me all about the state of this world. Since they think of me as their forest fairy, I just felt like I had to try to help them. Oh, so you mean like using some kind of forest magic to repair the tavern? Unfortunately... I don't know how to use the magic of this world. I've tried using my vision, but it doesn't seem to work. Oh, that's nice. The visions don't work are here. Are the books stored in this hut are anything to go by? 
This seems to be the place where the goddess of creation first made the townspeople of this forest. She folded the pages of books into small origami animals, gave them life with her magic, and with time, that's how the forest of blessings took shape. Hmm. Maybe one of the books here could teach us how to use magic. Probably. I read them all, but only found one reference to magic. The incantation, Abracadabra, means to create what I say. This is a world made up of words where fantastical powers can be wielded by all. Awesome. Okay, so basically Ever in this world can use magic. Can That's use nice, but still magic? no still kind of yeah, That's it's a bit big. Yeah. From the other books I read, it seems like this goddess really likes to play fast and loose with the details. Seems like it. So, what should we do now? Um, didn't you say you were going somewhere, Nilu? Oh, yes. I was going to help some of the other residents of the forest. They've been busy making preparations to reopen the tavern, so I thought I could help out. Maddox! Guess we should just focus on what we can do for now. This whole thing is making me pretty nervous, actually. It's like I've been pushed on stage without being taught the choreography. So I don't think I've gotten Nilu yet. Since it's probably because, again, I am not deep enough into the main Archon Quest storyline to be able to understand some, some of the people. Or know some of the people. Which makes sense. Along the way. At least you're optimistic. Thank you. Then let's go. That was the end of that story. I got a book thing. Um, scales and tails. Boreal flory. Brave northerly wind. And the Forest of Blessings lives a particular passionate flying squirrel. What the hell? <laughs> Press to navigate. But I will continue this on the next part because I got things I gotta do now. So, but I'm going to do this as like a uh, recorded series, no editing, and I'm probably going to fix the UID thing down at the bottom. But it's going to be usually around like 25, 30 minutes each thing, just because Genius like this is the best I can do right now. And so I can get streaming, so like in the next couple days it's going to be like new part every single day. Um, until hopefully my streaming gets back up and running, I'm probably gonna have to call them Tuesday again and be like, Hey, what the hell? It's because it's taking them so long to, to fix my issues. So, I will probably continue with this part right here, which is technically not main Archon Quest, but it is kind of like a side story kind of thing. It's the, it's the update mission thing. What is it called? Yeah. This thing right here, uh, summertime scale. It's the it's the event, and I might as well just you know. What is it? Like, see, I don't, I have not gone to this or that, so like, yeah. What the hell? I haven't done that one either. Yeah. So I don't know what's going to do with all of this stuff yet, you know. I'm, I'm still confused by a lot of it. So it's going to take a little bit for me to understand some of the things that's going on here. Actually, what's this? So Okay, so there's, lo okay, there's a lot of things to freaking do. I'll be back with this stuff. So thank you for watching. Like, leave a like. If you just like, leave a dislike. If you want to see more, subscribe. Come back for part two. Part three, part four, part five, however many parts it takes right now. Because I'm going to have to do this in sections and parts just to keep it as short as possible. Because right now it's about to get to 30 minutes. And most of this most of this event is apparently speaking so far, giving me details and clues. So hopefully the next parts are going to be sh uh, a bit more action-orientated and not just sitting here mind-numb and listening to it. So again, thank you for watching. And um, like come back next time for the I next episode it should just it should be like right here right now right after this so yeah